Welcome to News Hub, where every headline comes alive. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and join our community for the hottest news and breaking stories every day. Now dive into video. For decades Boeing and Airbus have dominated the skies, connecting the world with the Nasrin Steroi, Chattanooga with their passenger jets. But now a new challenger has emerged. The C919, China's first large domestically produced passenger airplane. Developed by Comac, the C919 is a centerpiece of China's ambition to achieve technological independence and compete globally. Designed to rival the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320, the C919's debut flight in 2023 was a moment of national pride. The goal served China's vast domestic market and eventually airlines worldwide. Yet, building a modern jetliner is a global effort. The C919 is a blend of Chinese design and Western technology. Key systems, including avionics and landing gear, come from international suppliers. Most crucially, its engines are Western-made. This reliance on foreign technology is the C919's Achilles heel. While labeled made in China, its ability to fly depends on parts from abroad. China's plan, learn from Western partners then replace foreign parts with domestic ones. But as geopolitics shift, this strategy faces a race against time and mounting challenges. The C919's rise caught Washington's attention amid escalating US-China trade tensions. The jet became a symbol of China's challenge to American tech leadership. Dozens of US companies including Honeywell and Collins Aerospace supply critical systems, but the Leap 1C engine made by GE and Safran is the most vital. In 2025, the US suspended export licenses for these engines and other key parts, citing national security. The result, C919 production ground to a halt, with nearly finished jets waiting for engines that might never arrive. The disruption exposed the fragility of China's aviation ambitions, built on a supply chain vulnerable to foreign pressure. For Comac, this was a nightmare. Production targets shattered, assembly lines silent. The US move was a wake-up call for Beijing technological progress could be stopped by decisions made abroad. The challenge was no longer just engineering. It was survival in a world where technology is a weapon. The C919's future now depended on China's response to this new reality. Would the program stall, or would it adapt and push forward? The answer would shape not just the C919, but China's entire high-tech future. The race was on. U.S. export controls hit C919 production hard. Comac's ambitious 2025 target, 30 jets, quickly became unattainable. By October, only five to seven aircraft had been delivered, far short of expectations. Assembly lines struggled with planes waiting for missing parts. Revised targets dropped to 25, then even lower. Analysts predicted as few as 18 deliveries. These delays hurt the program's credibility and frustrated China's top airlines, who had planned their operations around timely deliveries. The smooth rollout meant to showcase China's manufacturing prowess turned into a series of missed deadlines. The reality, building a resilient high-volume manufacturing system is far harder than building a single new airplane. American sanctions exposed this weakness, forcing China to confront the long road ahead. The dream of matching Boeing and Airbus output would have to wait. For now, the C919's journey was defined by setbacks and lessons learned. The export controls didn't just slow China down, they ignited a new sense of urgency. Beijing doubled down on its goal, a fully domestic supply chain starting with the jet engine. The CJ-1000A, developed by AECC, became a national priority, a technological moonshot to replace the Western Leap 1C. Engineers race to solve immense technical challenges, but building a world-class jet engine is a marathon, not a sprint. The CJ-1000A remains in testing, with no clear timeline for commercial use. Even if successful, it must match the efficiency of Western engines to win over airlines. Beyond engines, China is developing domestic alternatives for thousands of components, from avionics to brakes. The goal, a parallel, made-in-China supply chain, insulated from foreign sanctions. This is a colossal task, requiring new industries and expertise built over generations in the West. The path to self-reliance is long and uncertain, but for China, it's now a matter of national survival. Despite setbacks, the C919 is flying. 
though almost exclusively in China, the country's big three state-owned airlines, Air China, China Eastern, and China Southern, are its only customers so far. Each has ordered 100 jets, providing a crucial foundation for the program. As of late 2025, only about 20 C919s are in service, mostly on busy domestic routes. For many Chinese travelers, flying the C919 is a point of national pride. State support gives COMAC time to refine the jet away from global scrutiny. International orders are rare and mostly political, from countries like Brunei and Cambodia. To become a true global competitor, the C919 must win orders from major airlines outside China, something that hasn't happened yet. The protected domestic market is both a strength and a limitation. The real test will come when airlines choose the C919 for its performance, not politics. For now it flies in friendly skies, shielded from global competition. The biggest barrier to the C919's global ambitions isn't technology, it's certification. To fly internationally, the jet needs approval from the FAA and ESA, the world's top aviation regulators. So far, the C919 is only certified in China, elsewhere, it's grounded. Gaining international certification is a long, rigorous process, requiring full transparency and access to sensitive technical data. Geopolitical tensions make this even harder, as Western regulators scrutinize every detail. Without these certificates, the C919 is locked out of the world's most lucrative markets. The Boeing Airbus duopoly remains protected by regulatory barriers. Until COMAC earns global trust, the C919's reach will be limited. The path to international skies is long and uncertain. The C919's greatest opportunity is at home. China is set to become the world's largest aviation market, with demand for nearly 9,600 new jets by 2044. Most of these will be single-aisle aircraft, the C919's specialty. This massive domestic demand gives COMAC a unique advantage, a built-in market no other new manufacturer enjoys. Every C919 delivered reduces China's reliance on Boeing and Airbus. The government can guarantee orders through state-owned airlines, ensuring the program's survival. But the competition is fierce. Airbus, for example, is expanding its own assembly lines in China. Chinese airlines now face a choice, the homegrown C919 or the globally proven A320, also built in China. This domestic showdown will be the C919's first real test. Its ability to compete on performance and reliability, even at home, will determine its fate. The battle for China's skies is just beginning. U.S. export controls aim to slow the C919, and in the short term, they succeeded. But the move may have had an unintended effect, fueling China's determination for technological independence. What began as a commercial project is now a national mission. The push to develop the CJ-1000A engine and a domestic supply chain has accelerated dramatically. By blocking access to Western technology, the U.S. may have hastened the rise of a formidable competitor. China is pouring resources into closing its technology gaps, treating aerospace as a strategic priority. History shows that such national projects can drive rapid innovation. The C919 and future Chinese jets will be less reliant on the West and less vulnerable to sanctions. The short-term victory of delaying a few planes may have awakened a determined rival. The race for the skies is now fiercer than ever. The C919's journey is a story of ambition, adversity, and resilience. In late 2025, it stands at a crossroads, symbolizing both China's achievements and its challenges. The aircraft's reliance on foreign technology has been exposed, but so has China's resolve to overcome it. Engineers work on both Western and homegrown engines, embodying a dual strategy, use what's available now, build for the future. Production delays and missed targets are costly lessons in a globalized world. Meanwhile the competition intensifies, with Airbus expanding in China and regulators holding the keys to global markets. The C919 fights on multiple fronts, production, technology, market access, and even at home. Yet, it is not defeated. The vast Chinese market gives it time to grow stronger. The turbulence it faces today may be what teaches it to fly higher tomorrow. The story isn't over, it's just beginning. The C919's next chapter will be written in the skies above China, and perhaps, one day, the world.